the Supreme Court of India and a landmark judgment recently permitted an unmarried woman's petition to abort her pregnancy at 24 weeks, noting the law did not discriminate against married or unmarried women. I consider myself bold, well-educated and fine to decide on an abortion. But this was inevitable due to my husband filing for separation. Yet, when I did, the hospitals refused without his signature. I was devastated because he found this as a tool to torture me. Supreme Court's order will come as a huge relief to those who now don't have to seek abortion through illegal means. Abortion was denied to me when I was at 16 weeks. I ran from pillar to post, mentally, physically, psychologically, socially exhausted, spent money on middlemen, women, finally gave birth to a baby, gave up for adoption. This happened eight years ago. Activist Adira Pushotaman hopes these traumatic experiences will become a thing of the past, with the Supreme Court allowing unmarried women to abort at 24 weeks, overturning a Delhi High Court order. The 2021 amendment to the MTP Act replaces husband with partner with the legislative intent of covering unmarried women. And excluding unmarried and single women from the statute's scope contradicts the legislation's intent. The Apex Court has said there is no basis to deny unmarried women the right to medically terminate the pregnancy when the same choice is available to other categories of women. The medical termination of pregnancy Act allows women to abort in the first 20 weeks of pregnancy. Rape survivors, those whose marital status has changed, or mentally ill women can abort at 24 weeks. Unmarried women have also now been allowed. The access to abortion care may improve from this uh, judgment because, um, and I certainly feel that, you know, it, if, if it, it makes so much sense that women should have the same access to health care regardless of their marital status. This order by the Supreme Court is significant as it includes unmarried women as a part of the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act. This means unmarried women will now have access to healthcare services without having to take the legal route anymore. With camera person Kumar, Shrija for NDTV.